The Ice Warriors. This story takes place before the enemy of the world. This story also features the first debut of the monsters from Mars. Join me as I review the Ice Warriors for 2014. So yes, welcome to my review of the Ice Warriors. Uh, this was requested by Gamer Rob Ten and Evan Even M Even Airborne One Hundred. Uh, so yeah, thank you for the request, uh, guys. That's really appreciated. And so yes, let's begin with the review of the first Ice Warriors story, the Ice Warriors. Like I said in the pre-title sequence, it is uh, the story takes place during the monster season because in the season. You would often see the Doctor and his companions uh, go to planets, uh, get various places where they would see a group of humans or colonists or whatever, and they would join those people. And um, during those times, they would often come across monsters that they have to defeat. So uh, it's, I think the monster season is a really good uh, season. And um, I wouldn't say this was one of the best stories in the season, but it's a good story to watch. And... Uh, it's a great classic Who story. So, uh, the artwork looks just absolutely brilliant. I think the original artwork was going to have a paler colour, like a palish pink colour, rather, rather than this blue colour. Um, but I think I prefer this blue colour because of the ice. Uh, it looks more icy and just generally uh, very, very good. Uh, of course, we have the two Ice Warriors on the front cover, um, Patrick Charlton, and uh, we've got... It's a really good mixture of colours, uh, that's what I like about this DVD set, um, it's a two disc set this one, PG, uh, the Patrick Charlton years to 1966 to 1969, um, and we've got these side, we have, uh, my one's a bit weird, I've tried to fix it, but it, uh, unfortunately it's in this kind of weird shit, uh, angle, I don't know why, I'll, maybe that's me, I'm not too sure, I'll have to see if I can double check uh, what's wrong with that but um, yeah it stands out on the shelf quite nicely and uh, at the top we've got some pictures I think these are publicity images um, uh, you've got Ice Warrior, Second Doctor uh, the Second Doctor and some scientists and Victoria Waterfield okay um, I'll read you the, uh, the blurb and this story was written by Brian Hales in the distant future, Earth faces a new ice age while a de dedicated team of scientists battle to hold the approaching glaciers at bay. A, starting, a startling discovery is made deep within the ice, an alien warrior frozen for millennia. For millennia. Uh, when the Doctor, Jamie and Victoria arrive, they soon discover Earth is under threat from the ice warriors, fearsome Martians intent on conquering our planet for themselves. There's uh, some black rising here, which says um, the classic Second Doctor adventure complete at last with two animated episodes. I'll go on talking about the animation in a bit. Okay, so uh, inside we have uh, the booklets, of course, and really good uh, artwork on the discs. So we've got disc one and disc two. I think maybe this disc should have been on the first disc bit like the Inferno disc, I think it was, um, because it had John Pertwee on it, so I think this should have been on the first disc, the first disc but never mind. Now I shall read you the uh, special features that um, are available on the Ice Warriors. Um, okay, let's have a look what we got here. So we've got commentary by Fraser Hines, Dev, uh, Dev Watling, um, Sony Caldinez, Jeremy Davis, and um, Pat Hayam. Uh, we've got commentary for animated episode 2 and episode 3. Subtitled production notes uh, and disc 2. We've got Cold Fusion, um, Beneath the Ice, uh, VHS links, Blue Peter, uh, Design a Monster, Doctor Who Stories, Fraser Hines Part 2, 
I'm not too sure what uh, part one is on, I apologise. Uh, photo gallery, uh, animated original Ice Warriors trailer, which I'm guessing is uh, pretty good. Uh, coming soon, and Radio Times listings. And of course, we also have the you know digitally remastered picture and some quality um, stuff as well. So you don't need to worry about that. Um, so yeah, uh, this review might be quite short because um, there's not that much to say on the story. Uh, I mean, because it, it, it's a six-part story, and um, when I first heard the audio, uh, and uh, I thought it was, I thought it was, um, I thought it was a bit draggy, uh, a bit of a drag in the uh, audio. But after watching the DVD, I've sort of appreciated it a little bit more. Not much. It's not my favourite classic Who story because I think my favourite Ice Warrior story is The Seeds of Death because that is a fantastic story. Um, because uh, I'd say maybe this story is better than the Cold War, the Cold War story because that was just incredibly quick and uh, the Ice Warrior didn't do all that much in it. It did sod all really. Um, but. I think uh, the Ice Warriors uh, have a good performance in this. I wouldn't say they're at their best, but for their debut story, it's very good. And performances-wise, from uh, um, Patrick Charlton, etc., they're all very, very good. Particularly like Deborah Watling's performance in this, because uh, she plays a brilliant part when uh, she's talking to one of the Ice Warriors who has her um, as hostage. Uh, I love uh, the scenes where she's. Um, and I love the scenes where she's uh, talking to the Ice Warriors. I think it's a, a brilliant, um, a brilliant uh, few moments there. And uh, the cliffhangers are quite good as well. I do like the quick, uh, cliffhangers in this story. Um, and uh, yeah, I mean, um, I think best performances uh, probably go to Fraser Hines actually, because uh, I think um, he's really good in the story. And uh, Jamie's a very fine companion and probably one of the best male companions out there and probably better than all the new series um, I'm not being biased because I just prefer the classic series I think he genuinely is a very very good companion um, so yeah I mean I recommend uh, you buy the story and speaking of the animation it is it's a fantastic animation uh, I think it's on the back here somewhere it might be uh, no it isn't um, it's not the back, but uh, yeah, it's it's a fantastic animation. I think I prefer it to the invasion animation because I think this animation was was it done by Planet Fifty Five Studios? Uh, I think it was. I know. I think they did um, the Reign of Terror because the people who did the invasion also did uh, the Infinite Quest with the Tenth Doctor and Martha, um, which I didn't really like to be honest, but. Uh, this animation I thought was very good. I think I prefer it to the Tenth Planet animation. Well, but the animations for the classic stories are very good, uh, but I think this one's my favourite. Um, so yeah, uh, not really much else to say apart from the fact it's a great DVD set. The special features are very good. Uh, I highly recommend you watch them. And um, yeah, just go and buy it. It's a really good Patrick Charlton story, and because there aren't many DVDs of Patrick Charlton, then this probably is a good one to get and I recommend you listen to Patrick Charlton audios because I um, love Patrick Charlton audio, audios especially and the one that I would recommend the most has to be Evil of the Daleks because it is brilliant. Um, some personal rating I'll probably give it a 7.5 out of 10. So thank you for watching my review and stay tuned uh, please request uh, some of my DVDs for me to review check out my collection video first before you ask me to review anything and thank you for watching, so take care, bye for now.